your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Looking at a busy travel week for sure, both on the roadways and the airways. And the good news is, for the most part, weather will be cooperating. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Uh, locally, it's nice and dry, although we have a couple of showers uh, here and there across Connecticut. Look at the big picture. We've got a lot more in the way of showers off to our west. This will all be working its way into New England overnight and will be around for the first part of the day tomorrow. Look at Providence. Great visibility with cloudy skies. Temperatures currently are in the upper 40s and Smith. Field, Providence, Newport, 52 degrees currently in westerly. Now, for tonight, we are looking at temperatures to be. Uh Staying kind of mild in the 50s as we go through the night, and we do have the chance for some rain showers as we go through the uh, night. And I think they're probably going to be around even at uh, dawn tomorrow. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, travel might be a little bit slow as we go through the daytime tomorrow. And our pinpoint uh, uh, tracker here. Or a potential uh, travel spots for the next couple of days, and we are looking at really nothing uh, overly concerning right through the daytime on Tuesday. Here's Newport. We are looking at good visibility of the Newport Bridge. Still mild. 49 degrees with the wind from the south at three miles an hour. 49 in Newport, 45 in Narragansett. Richmond's at 47. A little milder there in Westerly at 52. Block Island, 51. So here are these rain showers that are working towards southern New England associated with this front that's going to be coming on through during the daytime tomorrow. And behind that front, some colder air. Hour by hour forecast shows the chance for some rain showers during the uh, evening and overnight and into tomorrow morning. Here comes the that front. It's out across western New England in the morning hours with some rain showers for us, maybe a couple downpours in southeastern Mass. That front comes on through around midday. The winds turn into the west and that will bring in some colder air. Temperatures will be dropping through the afternoon tomorrow, but with clearing skies. So forecast for Monday morning looks like this. We're going to start off with some showers, maybe some wind gusts to 30 miles an hour first thing. About 53 degrees in the uh, early morning. By noon Time temperatures already beginning to fall off a little bit, but we'll be drying out around noon. Let's pinpoint the afternoon temperatures 52 Narragansett, Charlestown 53, Wickford about 50 degrees. We're looking at the skies drying out, slow clearing in Woonsocket, Situate, Situate, Johnston over in uh, southeastern Mass, Fall River, New Bedford should be topping out in the lower 50s. Let's check out the weather across the country for the uh, week ahead. This is Monday morning, and as I mentioned, probably the worst of it. Uh, right along the East Coast with the rain showers. Should be pushing offshore by later in the day. Gets kind of cold in the middle of the country for Tuesday, but look at that. Pretty quiet across the uh, uh, entire country on Tuesday. Even Wednesday looks to be pretty quiet. Some extra cloudiness, but no, uh, nothing that will really cause any delays. And as we take a look at Thursday, Thanksgiving itself, we'll have some rain showers gathering Ohio River Valley, Mississippi River Valley, but most of the country remains pretty quiet. In fact, those showers will arrive in our area for Black Friday, and we we may end the day with some snowflakes. Check out that seven day forecast. And you can see we are looking at temperatures a little cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, milder for Thanksgiving Day with temperatures in the mid 50s. We'll see snow, uh, some snow. Uh, after the rain showers end uh, later Friday, shouldn't be a big deal. Right now, next Saturday, we are looking at sunshine.